five to ten minutes trying to locate a particular road. And that five to ten minutes? Could be somebody's life or death. Well, new tonight at six, deputies in an upstate county are on the hunt for street sign thieves. Investigators say it is a big problem that's happening more and more often. In fact, they say it's probably just teenagers who think it's a funny prank, but deputies say this prank can be deadly. Mike Manzoni is live outside Union County Sheriff's Office to explain more. Mike. Now, these are just a few of the stolen and broken street signs that deputies collected over the past year. Some of you in the Union area might recognize some of these names. Shady Drive, River Road, Brook Drive, and Nail Shoals Road. Now, each one of these signs costs about 13 bucks to replace, and that money to replace these does come out of taxpayers' pockets. But the sheriff says it's not so much the 13 bucks that concerns him. It's the fact that 911, opera, 911 emergency responders and deputies use these to find people in an emergency. This type signs were pure aluminum. Stop by the Union County Sheriff's Office any day. This is probably one year's collection so far. And Sheriff David Taylor will show you his collection of stolen and broken street it's signs. Just, uh, it's just aggravating. It's frustrating. And he says it happens all the time. Just the other day, deputies found nearly a dozen missing road signs in this area off Highway 49. Sheriff Taylor says when people steal these signs, it puts the public in danger. And they're depending on that road sign to be able to get them to where they need to go. He's talking about emergency responders. Even though the county can get new signs put up within just a few days, that's a few days that EMS won't have one to use when every second counts. That means they lose time to either try to find it on GPS or they're trying to find it on their cell phone. Some of the areas in this county that are remote, you may not have cell phone service to be able to pull up that map. I think it's a shame. Richard Murphy lives on one of the streets the sign thieves hit, and he says it scares him to know the next time he needs 911, paramedics might not have an easy time finding his house. I have two artificial hips and two heart attacks, so you know I'm I'm subject to having problems, and uh, you know with no service, yeah, that would be hard. But he says it's nothing new because street sign thieves started targeting this area years ago. You can see how it's damaged. Murphy That's says he found sign. this stolen and busted sign on the side of the road just a couple months ago. I was shocked that the sign was in a ditch. I mean, it was like a, a wash. So whoever took it carried it probably 10 miles. The sheriff tells me thieves steal at least three dozen street signs every year. And at 13 bucks a pop, that, of course, does add up for taxpayers and of course there's the safety concerns right now in this case the missing signs that they discovered missing on Sunday right now they don't have any suspects but they say whoever did this watch out because this case is still open and they are looking for you for now we're live in Union outside the sheriff's office Mike Manzoni seven on your side thank you Mike Sheriff Taylor says anyone who's caught stealing a street sign faces a $200 fine and they'll be forced to write a three-page essay on why it's so bad to steal street signs well, two people